As we all know, human beings have been relying on fossil energy such as oil and coal since they entered the industrial age. We use them to generate electricity as raw materials for industrial manufacturing so as to provide inexhaustible power for social progress and technological development. However, this fossil energy is not renewable in a short period of time. These oil and coal are continuously transformed from the corpses of animals and plants that died a long time ago in a high temperature and high pressure environment. The conditions for producing this fossil energy are very harsh and the time is very long, which is beyond the control of human beings, so they are also called non-renewable energy. Due to the increasing number of people living on the earth, the thirst for energy has continued to increase, resulting in the gradual hollowing out of these underground fossil energy sources. Energy shortage and depletion have become the most urgent and important global issues. In this regard, human beings have already given relevant solutions. One solution is to emigrate to alien planets. Humans can find new planets suitable for their own habitation, relocate them all, and redevelop the energy on that planet. But this is obviously unrealistic. So far, we have not found a habitable planet, nor have we found a way to quickly reach extrasolar planets. Another solution is to develop new energy sources. This plan seems relatively realistic at present. Humans have been paying attention to new energy for a long time, especially the application of wind energy, solar energy, and water energy in Western countries has been going on for some time. Although these clean energies can be obtained from nature, they have two disadvantages. On the one hand, the acquisition of these energies is carried out in specific terrain areas, so it is unlikely to be widely promoted. After all, natural conditions cannot be changed by humans. On the other hand, the utilization efficiency of these energy sources is not high, and the energy generated by these energy sources cannot be compared with the existing oil and coal at all. Of course, new energy developed based on new material technology, such as graphene, is receiving extensive attention from various countries, and some people even think that it is one of the important fields that will trigger the fourth industrial revolution of mankind. However, the advantages and disadvantages of the new materials themselves have not been widely recognized by researchers from all over the world, and they have not yet reached a unified standard, and there are indeed certain difficulties in technical realization. Therefore, people turn their attention to another new energy field, nuclear energy. Have you heard of it? In fact, China has been investing in it very early on. In other words, once this super project is fully completed, China will be invincible in the world. Nuclear energy is a clean energy. Therefore, if human beings can further improve the power generation and utilization efficiency of it, the energy crisis of human beings in the future may be greatly alleviated. However, because relevant technologies in this field can be converted into military technologies under certain conditions, Western countries attach great importance to this. They have adopted various barriers to block relevant materials and technologies and prohibit their sale to developing countries. Although the relevant technologies for the construction and operation of a nuclear power plant are relatively mature. However, nuclear power plants use low concentration enriched uranium for power generation. Even on a large killer such as a hydrogen bomb, humans can only achieve nuclear fission. Although this process can be controlled artificially, the energy released is relatively limited and unsustainable. The so-called unsustainable means that the chain reaction will eventually stop at a certain point in time as the atomic structure stabilizes and the number of protons no longer decays. Obviously, this method is not only a waste of resources, but also inefficient. Therefore, for many years, 
scientists have been trying to find a way to allow atoms to react automatically, and this reaction will not be stopped due to changes in the number of protons. That's the nuclear fusion we're going to talk about today. When it comes to nuclear fusion, you may not be familiar with it, but the sun is carrying out nuclear fusion all the time. You can imagine that the Earth is so far away from the sun, and our solar energy collection and utilization efficiency is so low, in this case, photovoltaic power generation can still meet part of our living and production needs. So if we can build a sun ourselves and use all the energy released by its fusion reaction, the future energy problems of mankind can be completely solved. However, in order to achieve this goal, the first difficulty facing mankind is how to initiate and restrain the nuclear fusion reaction. The reason why there is a steady stream of nuclear fusion reactions on the sun is because the sun itself is a hot sphere with high temperature and high pressure, and it has a strong gravitational force, so it can keep igniting the nuclear fusion reaction while restraining these atoms, protons that want to escape. The natural conditions of the Earth are obviously unable to meet the requirements of nuclear fusion. Therefore, European countries generally use the method of magnetic confinement. Based on this principle, they have built a Katomak device. So far, European scientists are still experimenting with this device. At the same time, the Chinese scientists adopted the inertial constraint method. The principle of this method is to use the laser irradiation method to ignite the nuclear fusion reaction, and then use the laser beam to constrain the scope of the reaction itself, so as to achieve the goal. To this end, at the end of 2001, China invented a device named Xinguang-2. The device is a large-scale laser experiment platform independently developed by China. The purpose is to provide crucial laser technology for the large-scale nuclear fusion reaction devices and help China to achieve a controllable, efficient, and safe nuclear fusion reaction. This superproject can not only increase the value of clean energy and drive the development of related materials, processing industries, and chemical technologies, but also has great significance for the enhancement of the strength of the Chinese military. Under the conditions of modern warfare, whether the weapon system of a country is advanced or not directly determines the trend of the battlefield. For this reason, all countries in the world are stepping up the development of epic-making weapons. Taking the United States as an example, we have seen that laser cannons, hypersonic weapons, small nuclear weapons, sixth-generation fighter jets, and new-generation strategic bombers have all entered the research and development. In this regard, China, of course, cannot let go. The Xinguang series of projects provide strong support for the next step in the development of high-energy weapons. As we all know, the high-energy weapon systems has many advantages. First of all, the system can carry out directional and precise damage and will not be unable to precisely attack the incoming target because the speed and position of the incoming target changed too quickly. Secondly, the system does not suffer from any electromagnetic interference, and the interception speed is very fast. Thirdly, the system can be used as a means of defense, that is, to damage incoming aircraft and missiles, and can be used as an active offensive weapon. Finally, the system can destroy the enemy's active force, and even in the future it can implement a large-scale instantaneous damage combat mission to the enemy's active force. To do all of the above, we need to rely on a high-performance laser system, which is currently under development. It can not only provide important guarantees for China's future nuclear fusion experiments, but also provide technical support for the development of China's weapon systems. Therefore, once this super project is fully completed, the Chinese military will reach the top of the world. Okay, that's all for today. Your likes and views are the encouragement that we can move on more videos in the future.
please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. Goodbye.